How's it going everyone? This is Casual Chris and in today's Beatmaker 3 tutorial I want to show you how I set up my sample kit for finger drumming trap drums so um, I was new to this whole game of finger drumming so I'm you know I wasn't I wasn't familiar with anything. I just, you know, know how to make beats. I think I do. So, um, one thing that, you know, I was having trouble with earlier was was hi hats. I didn't know how to actually, um, you know, involve finger finger drumming my hi hi hats too. It it was just you know, and. This tip is, is kind of like, duh, but <laughs> that's kind of how I figured it out. It's like a duh moment. And that is just multiple hi-hats. <laughs> yeah, before I was trying to hit hi-hats like this. You know, um, I, yeah, I would just try, or I would do, you know. But, you know, if you're trying to hit drum two, that wasn't, it just doesn't make things happen. Um, also, I was looking at some, you know, NPC producers and seeing how they, it is they were making their music. Why it is their hands were going like this, you know, so fast. Um, but never like this to make something. And really, it's just because they have multiple hi-hats, so they, they're able to keep a steady pace instead of, you know, you know, for the same effect. It's just easier. So, have multiple hi-hats. Another thing that you should always do um, with hi-hats to keep them interesting is to have them on different, um, different transposes. Um, so to transpose your hi-hats. So what I'll do as well is I'll take all four of the same hi-hat sample and then say this one, I'll transpose it up. So to do that, you hit sample. Make sure you know which one you're hitting. Hit this tune button, one up. So that one up is going to give you character right there. You can also go up eight or seven. You know, you can do that as well. So now um, you have variation. Maybe not that one over here, but there you go. Uh, so have multiple hi hats. Pitch one of them up so that you're just able to just hit them out instead of instead of trying to do this. I used to always try to hit this um, where this would roll it. Excuse me, this would roll it. This is a cool way. the The, the problem with this is it doesn't look cool. Literally, that's the only problem. You could, you could program this in. You can do all that, um, but it just doesn't look cool. That's <laughs> that's really what that comes down to. This looks cooler if I have that off. No, oh, the velocity. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, you could do something like that, and you know, but nah, much cooler. Um, that's where you get all those guys who are, or all those um, producers who are doing, you know, fast hand movements and you know, making the beat. They just have have it laid out on multiple um, pads. Uh, another thing that um, you know is kind of boneheaded, but Clearing, clearing a pad. All you gotta do is hit it and hit clear a pad. If you ever want to delete a pad, um, there you go. So you delete it. Hit that button there. Um, let's go ahead and do it. 
And then obviously you can Yeah, so that is a quick tutorial on how I would set up finger drumming now. Um, a lot of my videos now to keep things interesting because, yeah, you could definitely, you know, go over here and hit a roll and it'll sound pretty cool. But uh, a lot of these videos, if you want to keep it interesting, if you want to look like you're doing something awesome, you definitely want to hit out these, learn to hit out these hi-hats. Good practice. So, yeah, that's how I do it. Uh, that's how I lay out my hi-hat.